guys, it's me, ChocolateColors26, and today's video is going to be all my hamster supplies. A quick disclaimer that all of this, ha I do have a lot of hamster supplies, and all of it has been bought within a very long time. I've had hamsters for seven years, so I've accumulated a ton of hamster supplies, and all of this has been bought with my own money, and um, yeah. Starting in the first cube, this has like things like my hamster food that I'm going to be using, I use often. So I have some oats. These are just plain, um, not flavored oats. We have my hazel hamster food that's mixed with some other mixes. And we have some oxbow pellets I add in. There's just a little rock here. I'm not sure why it's there. We have a jar here. This has peanuts in it usually. I'm running low though. We have a Happy Hamster Cookbook and a Hamster Little Guide. It's just for the pictures though. The information in it isn't the greatest, but the pictures are super cute. have just a little hamster brush. And these are cat nail clippers, but they are very, very good for clipping hamster nails. In the next cube, I have this um, teal colored bin. I just pulled it out because it's easier to show like this. So first we have two of these. Gerber Graduate Puffs. I think this is the apple and strawberry flavored and this is the peach flavored. Next I have some couple of different um, containers. I just have some different types of treats. So we have some Sammy noodles in this one with some Timothy biscuits. So we just have a couple of those containers with treats. Next I store my hamster food. So we have the extra hazel hamster food in there along with some extra Vitacraft Vita Smart in there. So next we have some of my hay type treats. So we have some Woodlands Floral Feast. And then we have some XL. This is the Mountain Meadow Herbs. If you're wondering where I got that, um, a lot of that stuff was sent to me by some of my UK friends. You can't buy that in the US or Canada. And then here we have just a little bag that has some of the Vitacraft, Vitaverd, Natural Plus Hay and Dandelion a little sample bag someone sent me and then I have all of my like extra treats that I have like bags full so I have some carroty naturals some more naturals little hearts another bag of the carroties um, more of the hearts naturals and some of these rooty sticks the next is a another bin another teal bin that ha this has like kind of like cleaning supplies and such. So we have two pairs of pliers. The pliers I use to take apart the wheels. I have my blue dustpan. This is great for cleaning out the cages since they are tanks. And I have my homemade disinfectant which I have a video on which you can click the link somewhere on the screen and I'll leave it in the description bar. I have some of the Oxbow this is the Western Timothy Hay. I really like this hay. And so do the hamsters, as hay is safe for hamsters. And then I have the Oxbow Hay in this container. In here I have some extra supplies. So I have an extra water bottle. I have a bunch of different types of bowls. So here's like a plastic bowl, another type of plastic, a ceramic dish. I have some more plier type things and wire cutters along with this kebab chew and some velcro pieces which I used to hold my water bottles up. In another teal bin like the others I have more treats. So these are treats in containers that aren't in packages so things like that. So I have my own homemade container that says treats. This just has a Casey hibiscus treat mix in it. And if you want to see like more in depth of what types of treats I have, um, I'll leave a link on the screen and one in the description bar so you can check that out. So I just have a different type of treat, treats in each jar. So maybe some heart treats. I have some homemade treats. Um, these are some other treats that kind of look like gum pieces, but they're not. Um, yogurt drops and some little puff things. So a big variety of treats. So now for the drawers underneath my bed. I have two separate drawers and each have different things. This drawer here, I've organized it into all my natural type um, products that I have for the hamsters. And then in the next drawer I have, I've organized it into 
um, plastic or colorful things that aren't natural for the cage. Also, not all of my hamster supplies is in these drawers. A lot of it is in the cage, obviously, so the hamsters have things to do. So there are some things not in here that are in the cage. So in my naturals drawer, we have some natural tubes. And down here is just some bendable bridges, things like that. A little nutty stick ball. This is a little, I think it's a ro rosewood bridge. And then we have my ecotrician thing. So this is an ecotrician log. This is an ecotrician snack shack log, I think it's called. This might be something called something different, but I know they're made by ecotrician. I have this little nest um, here that's upside down, which has a hut and some different variety of natural toys in there. We have these little cottages here. The they have carrot pieces and hay on the top, which can only be bought from Bobby's Bunny Boutique. It is from the UK, so I'm sure UK people can buy them from other places, but for like Canadians and Americans, you can um, only find this on Bunny's Boutique because that's like the only store that sells UK products to Canada and US. So then we have some super pet hanging toys. I have two of these, one for each of the hamsters. And then I have this rock. A lot of people ask me what I use a rock for. I use it for just decoration or that it's great for the hamsters to scratch their nails on it, trims them down, and they're just really nice to put in the cage. Then I have some sand bath. This is chinchilla sand bath. And then I have a ceramic dish in there for them. So now for the next drawer, which is, like I said, the more so colorful drawer made with products that don't, aren't, or not natural looking. So in here I have two baskets. One basket has wasabi's chews. The other has peaches chews. I just do this to keep them organized um, so I don't mix up chews. I don't like mixing up chews because I feel that if a hamster has gotten a disease such as wet tail and they've touched the chew and I give it the other hamster the chew, they could possibly contract wet tail which definitely is not good. So keeping their own separate chews is good because if something happens like they get a disease I can just chuck those chews and my other hamster still has their chews. So over here we have a rainbow bridge also purchased from Bobby's Bunny's Boutique. In this little container here, or this is not a container, it's a box. I just keep all my puzzle playgrounds organized in here. I like it like that so that they're not sprawled everywhere. And I have their um, door openings for the puzzle playground. I have two of these little snuggly buds. I just use these for playtime sometimes as the hamsters go in them and just sit in them. I have a big expendable, expandable tube that you can do that, shape it into different things. This was purchased at PetSmart, if you're wondering. I have this Living World Twizzler looking thing. We have our famous lion hideout. This was purchased off eBay. We have a Petco potty in yellow that I sometimes use. We have our strawberry hideout. This is an also popular favorite. This was also purchased um, from Petco. It can also be purchased, I think, on Amazon, and you can probably find it on eBay too. I have this pink colored igloo purchased from PetSmart. A all living things little hideout type toy. It has a bunch of holes in it for the hamsters to go through. It's really cute. And lastly, we have this Boredom Breaker Sleep and Play Cheese, and you can move it into different shapes, like so. And this was also purchased from Bobby's Bunny's Boutique. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and request. Bye!